Another example of how do we can secure processes is through the process of abstraction. Abstraction, it's the primary feature of object-oriented programming. Now, if you've worked with object-oriented programming or heard very much about it, objects look like black boxes. The whole concept of an object is that an object is the data and all of the mechanisms that operate on that data all pulled together into a self-contained box, if you will. The idea behind it is you don't really need to know what's going on inside the black box as long as you know the entry and exit points. I know that there is a function or there's a method in that black box called increment. I don't really care what increment does, but if I call increment, then something good is going to happen that I would expect. So by abstracting your data, you can hide many of the low-level details. Here's another example of how abstraction may help. Let's assume we're dealing with an object-oriented environment, and I create an object called a checking account. In the checking account, I'm probably going to store some internal data, such as my checking account number and the current balance. Let's keep it really simple here. So those are the only two data objects I'll store. Now, what do I need to do to my checking account? Well, I want to be able to ask, what is my balance? So I have a reporting mechanism that shows the balance. I also want to be able to deposit and to withdraw. If those are the only three methods that I need, then those are the three entry points. Those three entry points, or those three methods, cover all the functionality I need for this particular object. Now, I really don't care what happens inside the black box, and that's the concept of abstraction. When I say, withdraw $100, Clearly, there's a lot that has to go on inside the method for withdrawal. First off, there has to be identification, authentication, to make sure that I'm the right person to withdraw the funds. Then I need to verify that I have $100 in my account before I can withdraw it. Then I need to validate that the transfer can take place under whatever conditions may prevail. So there's a tremendous amount of overhead that I really don't care about. All I know is that if I say, withdraw $100, I'll either get my money, or I'll get a no, an answer that says, sorry, something's wrong. That's the concept of abstraction. We can also use data hiding. Now, data hiding is a term that's often used instead of abstraction, but data hiding in its purest sense through a security context is a little bit different. Data hiding means that data at one security level is not even visible to a process running at a different security level. So let's say that I'm running at a security level of secret. There's data that resides in a directory that is classified as top secret. I should not even be able to see that that data exists, much less be able to see the data itself.